Hello. Welcome to how to turn a TP-Link router into a VPN server. With it you can access your local network remotely. Here is how to connect my devices. The TP-Link router is behind the main router, it does not connect directly to the internet. If your router connects directly to the internet you can also follow this guide. Let's get started. I use a computer connected to the router. My computer connects to the device's internal port. On your computer you use any browser to log into the management page. You log in using the IP address or a local domain name. After successfully logging in you go to advanced settings. Then you go to the VPN server settings. There are many different options but I choose PPTP. This VPN server only allows up to 10 clients at a time. I leave the default settings and add a new account for the VPN. You can add multiple accounts for different users if desired. I will set it up step by step and after a few steps I will check the results to make sure it works well. I use a computer in the local network to set up a connection to the VPN server. On the computer I add a new VPN connection. I connect using the external IP address of the router. I use the same VPN protocol as I set up on the device. Don't forget to fill in the username and password that I just created in the previous step. Because the computer and the router are on the same local network, the connection is quickly established. 
you can see the connection status on the device management page. Also, you will see that your computer has an additional VPN IP address. Next, I set up for remote connection. I set up a static IP address on the external interface of the device. I do this to forward ports on the main router. You should not forward ports to an IP address that changes frequently. If your router connect directly to the internet then you skip this step. I note the parameters of the devices so you can easily follow the steps I do. On the main router I forward the port to the external IP address of the device. I access the main router management page. I forward it to the static app address assigned to the external interface of the device. Because I access remotely, I use the public address instead of the local IP address. This public IP address is the external address of the main router. The main router connects directly to the internet. If your device connects directly to the internet then you skip the port forwarding step.
On the computer I use as a client I edit the VPN connection. I use the public IP address instead of the local IP address. I set up the VPN connection using the public IP address. Connection successful, so you can connect remotely to the network your local. You have basically completed building a VPN. But I want to use a dynamic domain name service to update the public app address. Clients cannot connect to the server if the public app address changes. Every time the public app address changes, you have to update it manually. That is inconvenient. Dynamic domain name service will solve this problem. You register a free account. Then you log into it on the device. After successfully logging in, you create a new free domain name. This domain name helps you update the public app address. Your client connects to the server using this domain name instead of the public app address, so you don't have to worry about your IP address being changed. Here are the steps to turn a TP Link router into a VPN server. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. In my local network there is a file server. I will use a VPN to connect to the remote server. On the my computer connects to a different wireless network to make sure the two devices are not on the same local network.
Next I set up a VPN. With a VPN, the two devices are on the same local network. so my computer can access the shared folders. I use a diagnostic tool to test the connection between the devices when the connection is established or the connection is not established. Good luck.